Hi guys, welcome to Chidre's Tech Tutorials Educational YouTube channel. If you scroll down, you find Web Design and Development Tutorial section. In Web Design and Development Tutorial section, if you scroll to the right side, you find Bootstrap 5 Tutorials playlist. If you click on View Full Playlist, you find all my Bootstrap tutorials where I am explaining Bootstrap in depth and step by step, guys. In this video, I would like to discuss how to add space between rows and columns in Bootstrap without using gutter classes. We understand how to add space between rows and columns without using the gutter classes in Bootstrap guys. We just simulate, we simulate that we are adding space between rows and columns. Okay. Very simple steps guys. Step 1. Wrap the content of a column in another div. I told you that to create a section of a web page, we take help of the container. And container is a collection of rows. And row is a collection of columns. Columns hold the actual content. Instead of putting the actual content directly in the column, we wrap the content in another div. That is the first step. Wrap content of a column in another div. Step 2. Remove padding from columns. By default in Bootstrap, columns come with 12 pixels padding on the left side and right side guys. We remove that padding using p-0. Remove padding from columns. Step 3. Add margin to wrapper div. To add space between rows and columns, add margins okay, on the wrapper div guys. Let's have a demo and understand everything clearly step by step. First, I am going to create a container. I copy this code and paste it in my page. Here I have a div, opening div and closing div. With a class of border, border primary, that means it is going to have blue border. And you can see I am using the container class, that means this container, C O N T A I N E R container is going to be center aligned. I save it, go to browser and reload my page. You can see I got a container which is center aligned. Right? If you want container fully stretched, what you do, guys? You will use container fluid class. I save it, go to browser and reload. You can see our container is now fully stretched. I don't want fully stretched container. I want center aligned container or center aligned section. So simply I use the container class. I save it, go to browser and reload. You can see again I got the container center aligned. I told you container is collection of rows. To create a row, again I take help of a div. I am going to copy paste that in this container. Again I have a div, opening div, closing div with a class of border, border success. That means this div is going to have green border and I am using the row class to create rows. Right? Row 1. I save it, go to browser and reload. You can see that row 1 is added to the container. If you want, you can create one more row. Simply copy this code and paste down. This is going to be row 2. I save it, go to browser and reload. You can see row 2 is also added. I told you, row is a collection of columns. We can add columns with the help of another div. I am going to copy this code and paste into first row. Here again I have a div, opening div and closing div with a class of border, border danger. That means this div is going to have red border and call 6. In a row it is going to take uh, 6 columns. Here I say div 1 is going to be the content of the column. I told you column holds content div 1. I am going to copy this and paste down. I am creating one more column which is going to take 6 columns. This is going to be div 2. If I save it, go to browser and reload. In the first row, we have 2 columns, div 1, div 2. I can create in the row 2 also 2 columns. For that, what I have to do guys? I am going to simply copy this code from here and paste in row 2. In row 2 also, we get 2 columns. I save it, go to browser and reload. You can see in row 2 also we got div 1 and div 2. Right. Now, if you want to add space between the rows and columns, we have to follow these three steps guys. Step 1. Wrap the content of a column in another div. So what I do? I take help of another div. I copy this code and here is the content of our column. I am going to wrap it in another div. Right. This is going to be a div, opening div and closing div. Here I am not going to use any margin at present. Okay. You can see border, border instead of success, I say here info or let's say warning will use. Will be yellow color 
border it will apply i'm going to copy this and uh, paste here due to okay i copy this and paste here i copy this and paste here i save it go to browser and reload you can see that our content right is wrapped in another div which has the yellow border right you can clearly see that so first step we have completed wrap content of a column in another div right we have wrapped the content of the column in another div right div 1 we placed in another div div 2 content we placed in another div right what is the step 2 step 2 is remove padding from columns remember that in bootstrap columns by default come with 12 pixel padding on the left side and right side left side right side we have space left side right side we have space what is that that is padding of the columns if we remove the padding then automatically our wrapper divs touch the edges right so that's what we are doing here so here i say p-0 removing padding from all the columns copy paste 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 i save it go to browser and reload you can see that our wrapper divs are touching the edges there is no space before and after our wrapper divs so that's what we are doing step three step three add margin to wrapper div to add space between rows and columns you add margin to wrapper divs let's say you want to add space between the columns then what you will do you will use mx mx means left margin right margin mx of let's say 5 mx5 copy this paste here paste here and paste here so to the wrapper div we are adding margin left and right save go to browser and reload you can see that we got the space before and after of the wrapper div now if you want you can simply remove the border okay you can remove the border from columns so what you do simply you come to the columns and set here border 0 border 0 border 0 border 0 if i save it go to browser and reload you can clearly see we have added space between the columns we can we have added space between the columns using mx right on the wrapper div we work guys we never touch the row and column actually let's say if you want to add space between the rows then what you will do you will use my margin top and bottom on the wrapper divs my dash 5 okay my 5 copy paste 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 i save it go to browser and reload you can see that we have added space between the rows actually we have rows which we are going to hide simply we'll go here border 0 on the row border 0 on the row I save it go to browser and reload you can see that we have space between the rows you can see we can reduce the space between the rows simply we can go here and say my3 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 margin top and bottom 3 save go to browser and reload you can see we reduce the space between the rows we can reduce the space between the columns right by saying here mx3 left side right side we are reducing the margin save go to browser and reload you can see space between the columns is reduced so like that you can use the margin classes guys you can use margin start to control the left margin margin end to control the right margin margin top mt margin top to control the top margin mb margin bottom you can control mx for left and right my for top and bottom guys understanding let's say for the first row you don't want top margin you want only on bottom margin so what you will do here first row div1 wrapper div2 wrapper instead of saying my you will use mb i want only bottom margin so if i save this go to browser and reload there is no top margin you can see that there is no margin on top of the first row if you want margin on top and bottom then you will use my my i save it go to browser and reload right let's say you want only on the right side margin on div1 div1 first row first cell second row first cell so what you will do in that case simply you go to first row first cell and you will say here only margin right means margin end margin end 3 margin end 3 i want i save it go to browser and reload you can see these two divs have only right side margin there is no left margin you can see that 
understanding like this you can control the margin on wrappers we are just simulating that we are adding space between the rows and columns actually we are not touching the row and column of the bootstrap grid system here understanding so this is a very simple and easy way to control your layout guys i hope you guys have clearly understood i suggest you people to try it yourself okay if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited in the upcoming video tutorials we discuss more about bootstrap in depth and step by step for more benefits and be updated do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial Thank <laughs> you.